now the latest on November 3rd around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Well, the clocks are going back in the United States, but the Tropical Weather Bulletin remains at the same time on the Universal Clock Zero UTC. We've had 84 storms this year so far, it's day 306, and a lot of them, uh, a lot of systems are active right now in the Eastern Hemisphere. In the West, it's all quiet, the Atlantic, no systems active, day 156 of the season, which is in its last month. In the Eastern Pacific, day 173, no storms active here either. Over in the Western Pacific, we have a new storm, Halong, which has formed well out at sea and is expected to remain out there. Invest 90W and Maha in the Indian Ocean. No systems are active in the Southern Hemisphere at this time, though. It's still all quiet here, but we are getting into that season down there as well. The main feature tonight is Cyclone Maha, which is in the Arabian Sea. Winds of 70 miles per hour, pressure 983, according to our latest estimates. 424 miles from Mumbai, 17.4 north, 66.6 degrees east. The storm's motion is uh, a fairly interesting one over the next few days. We expect that the storm will end up stalling in that same position that Kiar did, but this time to slingshot right back towards the east, and by the end of this coming week, it could strike the western coast of India as a tropical storm. It's something we're going to be watching very closely over the next few days. Wind shear values are pretty good, so even though we're calling for just the Category 1 on that forecast that we've just put out there, it could develop uh, significantly beyond that. Perhaps one or two of the models really going out on a limb. HWRF's going, going with Category 3 or 4, but they are flip-flopping around quite a bit. It really depends on what happens in the next 24 to 48 hours. The North Atlantic is looking like this. Um, there's a little disturbance there off the, uh, to the northeast of the Lesser Antilles, which is looking rather interesting during those daylight hours, but really not much going on in the Atlantic as a whole. Frontal system moving off the US East Coast. Um, nothing really going on at all in the Caribbean. That's been the case all year long. Um, the Gulf of Mexico also now very quiet. The Eastern Pacific looks like this today. Um, again, fairly quiet, just a few disturbances blowing up cloud cover, um, convective cloud tops there, uh, mainly towards the eastern part of the basin, but nothing really that can be designated. Out over the central Pacific, sometimes you can get late season activity there. A very large extratropical cyclone just off the northern side of that image. The Western Pacific, quite clear to see the tropical storm. How long? Uh, one or two models again indicating that this could get to be a significant typhoon. I think it's pretty much assured that it will get to typhoon status. And over there in the South China Sea, you've got another system there as well, Invest 90W. That could also develop into a typhoon this week, according to some of the models off the coast of Vietnam. In the Australia and South Pacific region, we're probably going to see things warm up soon. Some very high convective cloud tops over Papua New Guinea, um, but really nothing that's developed. In the Indian Ocean, obviously Maha the main feature, but still the remnants of Kiar still surviving, still traceable, just about uh, reaching uh, the uh, Horn of Africa, moving towards the southwest now along the coast of the Gulf of Aden. The sea surface temperatures look like this then in the western part of the uh, western Mexico rather off the coast there still warm temperatures 29 30 degrees can't rule out late season east pack activity the Atlantic Gulf of Mexico looks like it's shutting down but the Caribbean remains warm and even parts of the open Atlantic remaining warm as well for potential late activity. What might stop Maha intensifying significantly is upwelling. There's a lot of cooler sea surface temperatures initially from Kiar ahead of the storm. Uh, temperatures dropping down to around 26 degrees perhaps. Over there in the western Pacific very warm for that new storm Halong and the South China Sea remaining warm as well. Here is Cyclone Maha then, a tropical storm that we've put it at high end. Um, we do judge it to have reached um, Cyclone Category 1 status earlier today, not looking quite as good as it did um, in the daylight hours of November the 2nd. But at the moment, there it is right now, fairly compact, small, not really affecting any land areas, could have another go at reaching Hurricane Equivalent later on today. Tropical Storm how long? Quite a bit broad, um, and its extent is it's trailing off the uh, southern side of a frontal system that's extending all the way up towards the north, uh, but the system itself is looking fairly good. Western side a little bit less so than the eastern side, but I think it will consolidate over the next few hours and days 
and we'll probably get at least a minimal typhoon out of this and possibly something more. We'll continue to watch this storm. So here we are right now then, the next name in the Atlantic will be Sebastian in the Eastern Pacific. We're still looking out for Raymond in the Central Pacific, the next name is Hone. On day 306 so far of 2019, 84 storms have formed this year. In the Western Pacific, we're about to start the next naming list, number three. Uh, Nakri is the next name on that list. How long? Of course, being the last name on list two. And in the Indian Ocean, the next name on their list now is Bulbul. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter under the same name if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. That's all for now, we'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.